owned or even watched a television in the last decade, then you definitely know who Chef Gordon Ramsay is. And if not, climb out from under the rock you've been hiding under and listen up. Gordon is of course known for his red hot temper, which includes a lot of bleeping by the TV censors. And that's all because this Scottish born chef is a perfectionist. That's how he became so successful with as many restaurants around the globe and television shows in several countries. It's safe to say that if you make Chef Ramsay mad, you're going to get an earful of expletives. But behind the fame and f-bombs is a whole other side of Gordon that the cameras never pick up. There are many things about this incredibly famous man that may shock you. After all, he is a human being just like everybody else, albeit an incredibly rich and successful one. So grab your fork and knife and let's dig into 10 things you didn't know about Gordon Ramsay. Before we find out what's cooking behind the scenes with Chef Ramsay, be sure to click to subscribe to our channel. Trust us here, it's the only way to get Gordon to stop yelling at you. Plastic Surgery There's definitely a double-edged sword to success. On one hand, there's the fame and fortune, and doing what you love every day of your life. But on the other, you lose all privacy and are judged on every aspect of your life. And unfortunately, this includes the look department. Constantly being in front of the camera can get even the most beautiful and handsome people unfairly judged. This is a big reason why getting work done is so popular among people in Hollywood. But when you're a perfectionist like Gordon Ramsay, you can sometimes be your own worst critic. The chef's looks are characterized by his blonde hair and deep cut wrinkles on his forehead, something that he isn't a huge fan of. Building a restaurant and television empire from scratch will sometimes put wrinkles on your face. That's just a byproduct of hard work and constantly screaming and being angry with contestants on his shows probably didn't help either. And according to Gordon, his children even made fun of his wrinkles. So if you're a multi-millionaire with money to burn, what do you do? Well, you go and see a plastic surgeon, of course. So in 2009, that's exactly what he did. He grew tired of everyone focusing on his looks instead of the extravagant and fabulous meals he would prepare. And surprisingly enough, the one celebrity who convinced him to go through with it is just as famous. Ever heard of Simon Cowell? Gordon is said to be very happy with the results. The laser treatment made him look 10 years younger and his skin condition improved dramatically. Fitness Nut When you're around food so much, it can sometimes be hard to stay in shape. Now imagine that you're Gordon Ramsay and you're constantly around some of the tastiest food on the planet. The temptation to chow down 24-7 has got to be huge. I mean, I get that temptation when I see gas station donuts, let alone five-star meals. So how does Gordon stay in such great shape? Well, even though he works around the clock, he always makes time to work out. In fact, it's a special connection he shares with his wife. He's such a busy man that he pulls double duty with wife time and workout time. Since the two got married, Gordon and his wife Tana have ran in several marathons together. She's had a love for running for years, and she actually ran multiple times in the London Marathon. Always the intense one, Gordon decided marathons weren't enough and convinced his wife to compete with him in triathlons for Ironman events. And that's no walk in the park. These events include a two and a half mile swim, a 26 mile run, and a 112 mile bike ride, with no breaks in between. I think I need a break just reading all of that. Whew. But it's not all for competition. Gordon and Tana are known to work out together regularly and also go on leisurely bike rides together to enjoy each other's company. Aww. Double Vision The fact that Gordon Ramsay has children isn't strange. It's practically expected. But what we're about to show you is pretty crazy. Gordon's teenage son looks almost identical to him. His name is Jack, and when you look at the two side by side, you can't help but do a double take. When the Ramsey family showed up to the BAFTA Children's Awards, they looked about as nice as a family could. But all that the bloggers and commenters online could talk about was the shocking resemblance between Gordon and Jack. And we don't blame them. Let's take a closer look. They have the exact same spiky hair, the same lips and nose, and the same face shape. Are we totally sure that Jack isn't just a version of Gordon that invented a time machine? Probably not, but we had to ask. We have to imagine that Jack gets stopped for photos every time he goes out, and not just because he looks like a mini-me Gordon Ramsay. He actually made an appearance on Master Chef when he was a younger boy. So that means he looks like Gordon and he's on TV like Gordon. The only thing left is to be a chef. But alas, Jack has been said to be considering a career in the Marines. And we were so close. Soccer star. Think for a second about when you were a little kid. 
What did you want to be when you grew up? A rock star, a princess, maybe even a pro athlete? I wanted to be a foot model, but let's move on. Life has a funny way of working itself out for the best no matter what we wanted when we were children. Take Gordon Ramsay for example. When he was a boy, all he could ever think about was becoming a professional soccer player. Since he was born in Scotland, this is not out of the ordinary at all. Soccer, or football as it's known to the rest of the world, is the sport of choice for almost all of Europe. And it was Gordon's sport of choice too. When he was a boy, he played so much soccer that he actually got to be pretty great. In fact, he was so great that in the 1980s, he was given a trial with the Scottish side Glasgow Rangers. Can you imagine getting a chance to play out your biggest dream? And this was even bigger for Gordon. This was his favorite team. History was almost written differently, but life has a way of getting in the way. During his trial, Gordon accidentally injured his knee, ending his career before it really began. It's sad that he didn't get to see it through, but it led him to being one of the most rich and popular names in the world. Not a bad reward for a runner-up. Parenting Style Sure, we know Gordon has a mean streak that would put most people to shame. He yells, he screams, he curses. But is he that way with his children? Well, although it seems that he doesn't cuss or scream at his kids, just like the contestants on his show, he is very strict. No surprises there. Gordon and his wife Tana have four kids, Jack, his twin sister Holly, the oldest Megan, and the youngest Matilda. But what does Gordon and Tana do that makes them strict parents? Well, for starters, none of their children are allowed to eat in any of Gordon's amazing restaurants. Wow, that seems pretty tough. And any time the family goes on a trip via plane, the parents of course sit first class. But the kids? They all have to sit and coach. And they aren't even allowed to talk to or approach him during the flight. Now that's intense. But all of this isn't without reason. When Gordon was a child, he had a rough upbringing, and he actually left home at the age of 16. This made him very appreciative of everything he has, because he had to work for it. And he wants his children to be the same way. No handouts in the Ramsey household. Currently, Gordon Ramsay is worth more than $54 million, and he has said that his children won't get one cent of it when he dies. He said he isn't trying to be a jerk, but he just wants his kids to work for their own money and not be spoiled. I guess being a Ramsay child isn't all it's cracked up to be. Heart of Gold Now that you've heard how much of a hardcore parent Gordon can be, let's move on to something more lighthearted. With most of Ramsay's cooking shows, we know that he can be a real monster, hurling insults, screaming, and criticizing some contestants to tears. If you're watching it at home, it's almost enough to make you run for cover. But there's a real and genuine other side to Gordon that anyone can see. It's like the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde come to life. When you tune into one of Gordon's shows with the children, you can see that he can be a patient and sensitive man when he wants to. When we saw he had a show featuring kids, we were worried at first. But even though his standards are still high, Chef Ramsay always finds a way to compliment the dishes the kids make and offers constructive criticism without baring his teeth. And boy are we relieved. Can you imagine a show where Gordon just yells in kids' faces until they cry? We're used to seeing Gordon scream at people until they turn into babies, not yell at babies themselves. But whatever it is that makes Gordon have this split personality, we're just glad we get to see it from the safety of our own homes. His Eating Habits We know that Gordon is a television star, an entrepreneur, and most importantly, a master chef. So how surprised would you be to learn that he doesn't really eat the way most would expect him to? Maybe it's because of how busy he always is, or maybe it's because he wants to shock everyone. But Gordon is known to love certain kinds of fast food. What? Yeah, it's true. Gordon has a true love of the fast food restaurant In-N-Out Burger. Now that is surprising. He is said to scarf down the double cheeseburger made animal style. It means that in addition to the mustard, grilled beef patties and cheese, they add extra pickles, grilled onions, and Thousand Island dressing. Okay, now my stomach's growling. We can give Gordon a pass on this since the cheeseburger is so delicious. But the chef is also known to not eat a normal three meals a day. Even though it seems like he's the type to follow all the rules in the kitchen when it comes to eating, he plays to the beat of his own drum. Instead of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Gordon says he eats five separate small meals a day. And this makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Because he is constantly working, he wants to keep his energy levels steady throughout the day. So Gordon never really experiences the ups and downs of hunger that we do. Smart man. Second Chances Watching the TV show Hell's Kitchen probably leaves you with two thoughts. One, Gordon Ramsay is an intense guy. And two, you better not screw up. Losing your spot on the cooking competition show is easy to do. One little mistake and Gordon will send you packing without an ounce of remorse. 
So whether something you made was undercooked, overspiced, or burnt to a crisp, don't expect any mercy from Chef Ramsay. But in real life, things are actually quite a bit different. We know that he had to be tough to get his empire off the ground and running, but he knows that no person is perfect. This was best shown when in an episode, Gordon visited a local prison. There he met with an inmate and challenged him to an onion chopping competition. Ramsey was so impressed by the inmate's skills that he actually offered him a job in one of his restaurants when he was released. Cool move, chef! But just like an episode of one of Chef Ramsey's shows, there was a twist. After only a few days of being released, the inmate was sent back to prison, unable to fulfill the promise of a job. Dang, luckily, Gordon has said that the offer still stands whenever the inmate gets released again. He really does care about the little guy. A Dangerous Man The amount of shows Gordon has appeared on is almost endless. Talk shows, daytime television, and of course the shows he hosts and executive produces. But Chef Ramsay doesn't follow the traditional script on what a TV chef should do. That's why his favorite appearance isn't Master Chef or Kitchen Nightmares, shows where he is the aggressor. No, it's actually a one-hour special released in 2011 called Sharkbait. In this special, Gordon traveled overseas to uncover various locations where fishermen cut the fins off of sharks. In a lot of places, shark fin is considered a delicacy, but in the United States, it has been rightfully banned. This is because it's a cruel and inhumane practice, where every year millions of sharks are killed for their fins. Gordon wanted to get to the bottom of it and suffered dearly for it. Being a hero put him in a lot of danger and made him the victim for a change. During the filming in Taiwan, Chef Ramsay had a number of horrible things happen to him. While making enemies, he was drenched in gasoline. He also had several guns pointed at him. Eventually, he was even told to leave the country and never come back. This opened a lot of eyes and proved that the practice of cutting shark fins truly is a disgusting act. Bravo, Chef Ramsay! Unwanted Meal Gordon Ramsay is obviously a very worldly man, and when it comes to his passion for food, there's almost no stopping him. He's tried cuisine from all over the world and continues to find new and interesting dishes to sample. But with all of the incredible meals in his life, there is a line he won't cross that is a bit unexpected. Airplane food. He just won't touch the stuff. You know that has to be very inconvenient since he and his family are constantly jet-setting around the world. But it's all for a great reason. It actually stems from his time developing meals for the in-flight menus for Singapore Airlines. He despises it so much so that he developed his own restaurant inside of his hometown airport in London. It's called Plain Food and is inside Heathrow Airport. This restaurant gives you a choice of light pre-flight snacks like Italian meat, sliced apples or pears, cheese, and glasses of wine. The reason Gordon is so adamantly against airplane food is because when he worked for Singapore Airlines, he witnessed the condition of the food given to passengers. He said that he knew where it had been and how long it was sitting out before it went on the plane and wouldn't give any more details. That's pretty disturbing. If Gordon Ramsay won't eat it and will barely talk about it, you know that you should probably avoid it too. Thanks a whole bunch, Chef. Well, that's the end of our fact-finding mission on Chef Gordon Ramsay. Thanks for watching. And if you don't want to be an idiot sandwich, make sure to check out more of our videos to learn things you didn't know and maybe have a laugh or two. See you next time.